day panelists. My name is Mary Catherine T. Salon from Agusan del Norte. I have a little lesson plan for science kindergarten. Allow me to start now. Good morning children. How are you today? That's great. It's good to know that you're fine and okay. May I request everybody to please stand up for a prayer? In the name of the Father and the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Okay, before you sit down, kindly pick up pieces of paper under your chair. And so now, say present if your name is called. Anna. Okay, very good. Sit down, everyone. Before we proceed to our lesson for this morning, what are the things that you've learned yesterday? Okay, very good. The sound of the animals. That's great. So now, what is the sound of the dog, Anna? Woof, woof. Very good. It's woof, woof. Okay, great job. How about the sound of a bird? Okay, John. Okay, it's tweet, tweet, tweet. Very good job. How about the sound of a dog? Okay. Yes, Kathleen. It's quack, quack, quack. Okay, great job, Kathleen. So now, please stand up. Do you know the frog club? Okay, let's do the frog club. So the club goes this way. One club, kukak. One, two, kukak, kukak. One, two, three, kukak, kukak. Okay, let's do it all together. One club kukak, one two kukak kukak, one two three kukak kukak. Okay, so this morning we will be having our new lesson. But before that, we will sing the song Old MacDonald's Had a Farm. Do you know the song? Okay, let's do it all together. So the song goes this way. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on his farm there was a cow, E-I-E-I-O, with a moo moo hair and a moo moo there, hair moo there, moo everywhere, moo moo. Oh, MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Okay, class, do you like the song? Okay, so what are the animals mentioned in the song? Okay, first is the cow. Second is the bird. And then the dog. What else? The pig. Okay, very good. So now class, what do you see on this picture? Okay, it's the different animals very good so now what animal is this okay john okay it's an octopus very good so now how about this animal it's a turtle very good how about this animal it's a fish very good so fish, where did the fish live? On the sea. Very good. How about this one? What animal is this? It's a tiger. Very good. So where did the tiger live? It lives on the land. Very good. So what is the beginning letter of a tiger? Okay, it's letter T. So, who wants to write letter T on the board? Okay, very good, Anna. So, letter T is for tiger. How about this animal? What kind of animal is this? Okay, this is a pig. Very good. So, where does the pig live? Okay, in the land. How about this animal? It's a bee. Very good, John. How about this animal, Crystal? Okay, it's a cow. Where does the cow live? 
Okay, very good. It lives on the land. So now, class, let's count all together how many animals that lives on the land. Okay, one, two, three. So there are three animals that lives on the land. Very good. So how about the animals that lives in the air? Let's count it all together. One, two. Very good. So there are two animals that lives in the air. So now class, do you think these animals live in the same place? John? Yes, no. Why? Why it's no? Okay, because tiger cannot live on the water. So the fish cannot live on the land. How about the butterfly? Butterfly cannot live on the water. So now animals have different places to live. And just like the pig, it lives on the land. The tiger, they live on the land. While the fish, the crab, the turtle, and the octopus lives on the water. Okay. So the place where they live is called habitat. So now do you understand children? Okay, so do you have any idea what would be our topic for today? So our topic for this morning is all about the Okay, so it's all about the animals habitat so this will be our topic for this morning so habitat is a place in which an animal lives so habitat is where animal where does animal lives so now class i'm going to show you the three types of habitat so the first habitat is the water. So this is the water. The second habitat is the land. This is the land. And last is the air. So these are the places where animals can live happy and peaceful with other animals. Okay, now, what may be the feelings of the animals if their place are destroyed? Okay, John. Okay, why? Okay, very good. Because they don't have a place to rest and to play with other animals. Okay, what do you think that we should do? To protect their habitats. Okay, Christine? Okay, we should not destroy their habitat. We should plant more trees and flowers to keep them from harm and destruction. Okay, what are the things that we do that may be the cause of the extraction to their habitats. Okay, Sheena. Okay, because we bomb plastics instead of recycling and we throw our garbages anywhere. So they might be a little thing for us, but it could affect to the environment and also the habitats of the animals okay so in order for us to protect the habitat of the animals we need to take care of our environment so now let's do the recap so what 
are the three habitats of the animals? The land, the water, and the air. Very good. So, what do you call the place where animals live? Jana? Okay, it's the habitat. Very good. So, now, I'm going to group you into three. So, each group will be given one habitat. And then one member of each group will put the animals that suited to their given habitat. Okay, is that clear? Okay, very good. So let's start now. Okay, time is up. So let's check your answers. For water, the animals here is octopus, I mean jellyfish. Yes, seahorse, whale, and fish. So this animal lives in the water. Very good. So you got the correct answer. So now let's move to the land. So it's the elephant, the cat, and the lion. So this animal lives in the land. Okay, very good. Everybody got the correct answer. So next is for the air. So for air, let's check the animals. It's a bat, dragonfly, very good, owl, very good, ladybug. So this animal lives in the air. Okay, very good. Everybody got the correct answer. Okay, so now let's have an activity. And this activity is that you need to color the animals brown if it lives on the land. And you color blue if it lives in the water. And you color green if the animal lives in the air. Okay, you can start now. I'll give you five minutes to color. So now, for your assignment, you need to cut out a picture of an animal that lives in the land, the water, and the air. And paste it to your notebook. Okay, that's all for today. Class dismissed. Goodbye. See you tomorrow.